Get in the car, get in the car, get in the car. Come on. Start, damn it. Start. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Come on, let's get out of here. Go, go, go. Are they close? I think we made it. <laughs> I think we made it. Oh my god. Oh my god. That was so close. Oh, this car's so good. Saved my life. Ah. Oh. Oh, oh. Welcome to the video, ladies and gentlemen, and if you may have noticed, there's a new experimental update just launched for day Z 1.02. The dev team have been quieter than usual while ramping up to this one. Focus with 1.2 is the return of two high-tier weapons and one vehicle. Let's get into the highlights of this update. First up, we're going to take a look at the Olga 24, a high-end executive level car. The Olga 24 is a four-door sedan, easily able to reach top speeds on the Chernerous roads. As you can see from the intro, I can't handle speeds on the roads. <clears throat> Stay until the end of the video for an outtake on what happened after I actually crashed. So of course we've seen the Olga before, previously known as the Gaz. It's been in Armour 2 and previously in Daisy's Alpha. Of course it's greatly improved this time. I managed to get my hands on one, repair it, fuel it up and take it for a test drive. Handling feels really good on the roads. I tried to get it to slip at one point and the traction seemed pretty good. A lot of detail put into this vehicle of course. You can see the chrome bumpers. Get you some nice close-up footage here and also i know it's going over the bumps for the train tracks the interior sound i don't know if you guys have heard this before first time i've heard it all in all i'm impressed with this reintroduction of a favorite vehicle and i can't wait to get murdered for it on a live server Next up, we're going to take a look at the two new weapons, the LAR, based off of the FN Fell previously in Daisy's Alpha, also using a 20-round magazine and 308 caliber bullets. All new animations have been done for the LAR, previously one of my favorite firearms to get my hands on in Daisy, and I'm glad it's back. And next up, the M70 Tundra, which is a bolt-action hunting rifle using 308 caliber ammunition. This has also been one of my favorite firearms, previously known as the Winchester in Daisy Alpha, and perfect for a spot of hunting or making big holes in the faces of other survivors around Chernerus. There's the little bugger. I especially like the little detail of the spent shell spinning out of the chamber once the bolt has been cycled. Also in this update, we have new and improved weapon attachments, usable backup iron sight for the ATOG, compensator for the Mosin 9130, mini sight, a small red dot, RNV sight, individual zeroing of iron sight and telescopic sight for compatible items. And for clothing, we've got some more favorites returning the holster and pouch for the plate carrier. I do like wearing a plate carrier, even though it does weigh quite a bit and slows us down stamina wise, but it does give you some nice center body mass protection. And having the pouches and the holster now will allow us to be able to carry a little loot as well as have that extra protection. And then we also have the Smirch Vest and its butt pack. Everybody's got to have a butt pack, right? Of course, you can also wear a normal backpack once this is on. Not much else to say about it, really. It's a sexy piece of kit to wear and carry some extra survival equipment. We also have some inventory changes, ability to move slowly while displaying the inventory. This was quite a big topic previously in DayZ when the team first made the decision to stop us moving while in our inventory. Now we can move slowly again while in our inventory as well as move items around. We also have better visualization of the inventory content, proper scaling of items in the hand slots, ability to have containers as attachments, e.g. pouch on a plate carrier, which is just going back to the vests we previously mentioned, various icons and visuals, and ability to reorder the inventory containers. In the footage on screen now, you'll see the little up and down arrow where you can organize where you want your backpack at the bottom of the list, at the top of the list, just generally give you a bit more inventory management options. Of course, as always, this is just a quick highlight video, a very small smidget of what the update contains. There's a massive list which I'll have scrolling down the screen right now, and we have things like new sound effects for locking doors or the combination lock new sound effects, 
Footsteps scuff sounds for grass surfaces. Footstep sounds for tents. Injury animation is visible in the inventory screen. Hand cramp for brain disease? I don't know how I'd be able to show you guys that, but that's a thing. Oh, and new sound effects for dropping items. I thought this one was pretty interesting and a nice touch. So pause the video if you want to have a little read, or I'll leave the link in the description directly to the patch notes. And I hope you enjoyed the video today. Let's discuss this in the comment section below. Maybe I missed something in that huge list that's pretty important. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, tickle my bell, and I'll see you peeps next time.